Hi and welcome to our ABE 313 Properties of AB Materials. So our topic for today is about the greening. So what is the greening in terms of agricultural commodities? In AB materials, the greening refers to the process applied to certain fruits, especially citrus fruits like oranges. It involves the removal of green pigmentation or chlorophyll from the fruit peel, making the fruit more visually appealing to consumers. This process typically uses ethylene gas or temperature treatments to accelerate the degreening process. Remember, it is important to note that only mature fruit is suitable for degreening. The reason is twofold. First, immature fruit has very high acid levels and low sugar levels, which do not meet its standard. And second, citrus fruit is non-climacteric. This means that unlike tomatoes, peaches, or pineapples, it will not continue to ripen after the harvest. So how does it work? For example, according to Citrus Australia, an orange is meant to be orange, and people want to buy a yellow lemon. But at a certain time of the year, citrus fruit do not lose their green skin color on the tree, even though the fruit is ready to eat. Chlorophyll is the green color in plants and is responsible for the green color in citrus peel. The greening of the skin is a natural process of chlorophyll degradation by ethylene. On the tree, the greening of the peel happens when the night temperature are cooler in late autumn. Although the fruit may be mature inside and ready to eat, the weather may be too warm for natural green color development. Meanwhile, a similar process but in reverse can happen with mature Valencia oranges in summer where the fruit can regreen to cope with the heat. After a natural color has begun, only fruit that meets Australian citrus standards or ACS should be degreened in the packing shed. And here are the things to consider during the degreening process for best outcome. First, ensure the fruit is mature with more than 50% color. Fruit with more than 50% color development degreen well. Fruit with dark green blotches will not color well. After harvest, drench the fruit with an initial fungicide to prevent post-harvest rot. Do not apply wax. Fruit harvested within 6 weeks of an oil spray are slower to green. Next is, after the fungicide drench, let the fruit dry and load the fruit into the degreening room. After the drying, add ethylene. Controlled doses of ethylene are injected into the room to maintain 1 to 5 parts per million. Fans evenly distributed the ethylene around the room. Note that the higher doses of ethylene do not speed up the degreening process. For example, during the autumn in Australia, they maintain only a temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, up to 29 degrees Celsius, which is suitable for degreening fruit from the humid subtropical regions. And next is monitor carbon dioxide in the room and regularly vent. Harvested fruit is still breathing and giving off carbon dioxide into the room. This carbon dioxide can inhibit the degreening process and also reaching unsafe levels for people entering the room. And the last is keep humidity levels high at 95% relative humidity. The relative humidity in the degreening room should be around 95%. Fruit weight loss is excessive when humidity levels are lower than 90%. After the greening, wait for 12 hours to 24 hours and the fruit can be run over the packing line and graded. Take note, 
the degreening process does not improve the eating quality of a fruit. People may get confused about what is familiar with us, which is the calcium carbide or calburo and the ethylene gas that is used in the process of degreening. So what its difference from each other? Calcium carbide or calburo reacts with the moisture to produce acetylene gas, which mimics the action of ethylene and is used as an artificial ripening agent. However, acetylene is not effective as ethylene. A much larger quantity must be used for the same effectiveness. And that is all for our topic degreening. Thank you for watching.